In June of 2022, my boyfriend and I took a weekend trip through the Grandfather Mountain area, visiting several sites and eateries along the way. To kick off our road trip, we stopped at Sims Country Barbecue in Granite Falls, North Carolina. This local barbecue spot is tucked away along the back roads of Caldwell County and serves a Texas-style buffet. You can also catch some bluegrass music and line dancing some nights. The night we were there, the Sigmund Stringers were playing. After filling our stomachs with some good food, we headed on to our campsite for the night after a quick stop for some snacks. We car camped at Black Mountain Campground, which conveniently has several trails around it, so we took advantage of the close proximity and did a quick hike to Set Rock Creek Falls, right after we woke up the next morning. This roughly one mile round trip hike is a quick and easy family friendly one. After our quick hike, we set off along the Blue Ridge Parkway, stopping a couple of times along the way to admire the views. When we came through Little Switzerland, North Carolina, we decided to check out the Little Switzerland Books and Beans, offering a large selection of books and some good coffee and baked goods. After driving along a few more roads, we reached our next destination, the Happy Hens and Highlands Farm. This is a Highland cow farm I've been following on Instagram for a while now, and ever since I found out they offer farm tours, I've been obsessed with going, and this trip finally gave me an excuse to see the cows. I very much enjoyed my experience on the farm, getting to pet and brush the cows, and highly recommend it if you are as obsessed with cows as I am. <laughs> After leaving the cow farm, we headed on towards Grandfather Mountain. This particular mountain has several hikes around it that range in difficulty. We chose to do the Callaway Peak via Profile Trail hike. This is a pretty difficult 9 mile hike with a lot of elevation gain and ladder climbing involved. The trail starts out fairly level with some gentle slopes the first mile or so, and then the trail begins to gradually get steeper. I come. There are some lookout spots along the way too, and a couple of other trails that intersect it, so make sure you're following the correct blazes. Eventually the trail gets steep enough that you're basically climbing stairs made of rocks. About halfway through our hike, the weather took a turn and it became very foggy and overcast, eventually turning into a full-on downpour. We considered turning back at one point, but decided to press on since we were so close to the summit. Unfortunately, the remaining opportunities for scenic views were completely blocked by the clouds and rain that had sent in on the mountain. <laughs> Would you look at that view? It's amazing. Luckily, the rain stopped just as we reached the latter section of the trail, which was the last quarter mile of it. Although the views are pretty lacking, it still felt rewarding reaching the top of the mountain after a challenging hike in unfavorable weather conditions. 
have pink. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Soon we were headed back down the mountain, which included a short break in a cave along the way. This hike took us about six hours to complete. After all that hiking, we had worked up quite an appetite. We did it! So it was time to head over to Old Hampton Barbecue and Store, located just down the road for some dinner. After filling our stomachs with some delicious barbecue, we headed to the lawn area where a cover band was playing and enjoyed some music before going on to our next campsite for the night. We conveniently slept right next to the trailhead of our next planned hike, so we simply rolled out of bed the next morning and hiked the Little Lost Cove's Cliff Trail. This one and a half mile hike has some elevation gain and a couple of significant slopes to go up, but it's overall fairly easy. Be warned there are rattlesnakes along this trail as we had this little guy greet us along the way. Luckily he let us pass with no issues. You're rewarded with some amazing views along the way with two different cliff viewing points. Overall this was a fairly short and easy hike with high reward. After finishing our hike, we were back on the road again, headed to the main reason for planning this trip in the first place. Singing on the Mountain is a gospel music gathering held at McCray Meadows on Grandfather Mountain. This event has been held annually since 1924 in the same location and has had guest appearances from music legends such as Doc Watson and Johnny Cash. Unfortunately, 2022 will most likely be the last year this event will be held as the family who has taken up the responsibility of organizing and hosting this event has decided to step away and retire the event. So unless another group decides to take on the responsibility, this event will no longer be held. We managed to squeeze in one more activity in the area before heading home. About 10 minutes down the road, you'll find the Wilderness Run Alpine Coaster, which made for a fun way to finish off our trip. Our final stop on our jam-packed weekend trip was Lancaster Barbecue in Mooresville, North Carolina. This NASCAR-themed restaurant was a unique and interesting place to end our trip on, and it supplied some good food. We were able to pack a lot into our weekend adventure around Grandfather Mountain, although we still barely broke the surface on things to do in the area, and we will definitely be taking another trip in the near future. For more information on the places we visited, see the description below.